Hi there lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about a fragrance from the house of Tom Ford. You can see from the title, today I will be discussing Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So this fragrance, you can see the bottle, simple bottle. You can see this is the sticker here, Tom Ford logo. The bottle is okay, not my favorite, but okay. So, this is the bottle up close. Now let me show you the sprayer. This is the atomizer. This is how it works. See? Shoots okay. Distributes decent amount of juice. No complaints from my side. Could have been better, but it is what it is. Anyways, let me talk about the smell of this fragrance. So this fragrance, I wanted to review this fragrance for a long time and I've seen reviewers, I have seen Aaron Terrence Hughes, he reviewed this fragrance and I'm a fan of him, Aaron. So I've seen him talk, praise this fragrance and I wanted to try out this fragrance. So today I'm here to talk about my experience. So let me describe the notes first. So I've written down the notes, Tom Ford's Oud Wood. This one contains agar wood, that is Oud, then Brazilian rosewood, cardamom, sandalwood, shizuan pepper, vanilla, verever, tonga bean, and amber. So these are the notes. Now, what do I detect? Let me spray this. This actually puts a smile to my face when I apply this. The smell, to me personally, I really like it. Let me tell you, I'm not a fan of oud fragrances, but in this one, oud is listed, but the oud is nothing too skanky, nothing cloying, very soft, mild kind of oud, very minimalistic. But yeah, this is a woody fragrance, but the oud is nothing too prominent in this one, so I'm really happy with it. Thank God the wood is not that prominent. So let me describe the smell. When this one, this one actually opens up really aromatic to my nose. I can detect this cardamom. The cardamom is a note that I really like. This beautiful aromatic touch coming from the cardamom. I can detect this pepperiness as well in this fragrance. So this one has this aromatic spiciness. A lot of woodiness peeking through from the background waiting to come forward. I can detect this beautiful smell of tonka-like creaminess in this fragrance. There's the sandalwood, so there's this vanilla type of feel in this fragrance, mixing with the sandalwood to create this creaminess in this fragrance. The dry down of this fragrance is really creamy. Starts up really aromatic, starts up slightly green, aromatic, Really nice spiciness in this fragrance, but the dry down is to die for. Dry down, I feel there is this beautiful vanilla. There's this beautiful creaminess coming from the sandalwood as well. Lovely powdery style dry down. Nothing overly powdery, but powdery, creamy dry down. At least this is what I feel. So the smell from top to base, this is really nice. Really nice, high quality smell. But I have to complain on one aspect that is the performance. So smell wise, this is a top tier fragrance, no doubt. I really like to smell this fragrance. I really like to apply this fragrance. Lovely fragrance, top notch smell. But like I told you, performance of this one, at least on me, is very weak. Yes, very weak for a fragrance that actually costs 26,000 taka to 30,000, 35,000 taka. So just imagine 26,000 taka to 35,000 taka for 100 mil Tom Ford wood wood. So the pricing in US dollar will be $222 to $300. Just imagine $220 to $300. That is expensive. So for an expensive fragrance like this, I wasn't expecting the performance to be 
that bad. This one actually performs on my skin for only two hours, maximum three hours. Let me tell you, maximum three hours. This is a skin scent type of fragrance. After 40 minutes or one hour, this one becomes a skin scent. I can detect the fragrance, but I'm sure that people around me not getting that much whiffs from this one. So two to three hours of longevity from my clothing even. So overall two to three, three hours of longevity. Projection of, like I told you, 40 minutes, maximum one hour. But the smell is just top tier. I really love the smell. So a winner in terms of the smell, I really love it. A downer in terms of the performance, at least on me. But two to three hours, I don't mind. Yes, I'm complaining because for the price, this one costs a lot. $220 to $300 for 100 ml of Tom Ford Wood Wood. And this one is not a performer on me. So in that sense, this is a downer. But smell wins for me. So a nice smelling fragrance. So yeah, I like the smell, not the performance, but nothing to, comp nothing to cry about. So yeah, this is Tom Ford's Wood Wood, the smell, the performance, occasion wise. This one is a fragrance you can use wherever you want. This is sophisticated. This is really nice aromatic. This is creamy. This is powdery. This has this beautiful woodiness in this fragrance. Lovely woodiness. Nothing too skanky. Nothing too overpowering wood. No. The woodiness is really nice. Creamy. Lovely sm smell. So inoffensive fragrance that you can use in your office when you are going out. On a party so really lovely fragrance casually formally you can apply this whenever however you want so occasion wise i have to say that this is um, to me this feels like an all-year-round fragrance i can apply this all year round so nothing too cloying to my nose so summer winter this is basically a fall and winter fragrance but for me an all-year-round fragrance so that's just me so I've talked about the smell, the pricing, the occasion. I think nothing is left. So Tom Ford's Wood Wood. This is the fragrance. And I've talked about it today. So let me know how you like this one. And the performance that you get, we can discuss comment in the comments section. So this is my review for today. I'll see you guys next time with another fragrance review. So subscribe to my channel if you like my work. Take care everyone. Peace.